This is my favorite line from the movie. The fourth dimension will collapse upon itself. You stupid bitch. If someone says, I don't understand what Southland Tales is all about. Just repeat that line to them. <laughs> My name is Richard Kelly, and I'm the writer-director of this motion picture you are watching called Southland Tales. And today is August 25th, 2008, 218 p.m. Now, getting into the tattoos again, all these, these tattoos have meaning. If you read the graphic novels, you can understand what each tattoo means, what religion each one represents and the anarchy on the nape of the neck discussion of the nape of the neck where your soul can be removed i think that was a big thing from when we were in college and, and starting film school and i remember darren roberts who's one of my editors we were all just worshiping quentin tarantino and read the script for pulp fiction is our freshman year it was pulp fiction was getting ready to come out and seeing with ving rams with the band-aid on the back of his neck that that's where they removed his soul and that's what's in the briefcase is his soul marcellus wallace's soul but anyway and the mystery of the desert and what happened to boxer in the desert is finally revealed to the audience and to boxer and the glues and the breadcrumbs that you hopefully have gleaned and discovered from the first two chapters finally all coalesce here in this scene they should at least pay attention and I, I would love to be able to show more of the psychedelic nature of this, uh, what happened when they went through the rift and everything. And it's very wild stuff I had in mind to do, including the big catapult of the monkeys being launched into it, but there just wasn't money to pay for it. Ultimately, the response to sending a human being through the rift was the creation of a double, a doppelganger. And you know, this is something just explored in science fiction in other movies and like Back to the Future 2 or even, you know, that Jet Li movie and even a little bit in Donnie Darko, the idea of a doubles, uh, an alternate version. For me, I think the philosophy of the glowing hand and that really that's the primer is a handshake and the double coming to terms with itself and staring its ego in the face and accepting it. Here's where Pence Don't Commit Suicide comes back into play. And a lot of people have asked me why this line is the final line of the movie. And I guess I'll get into that later. But to me, it's pretty obvious. It just all depends on your definition of pimp. The Rove Credit Union, you can take what you want <laughs> from that. I think it's fairly obvious. And the ATM rip from the wall by the gas guzzling Humvee. <laughs> it's all very meta and it's all very abstract, but it fits together in my mind. And I hope that people can watch this movie and start to put it together for themselves. And the two roads diverge and reconverge. <laughs> in this intersection at 4th and Hill, and here we go, the crash staged for real with some digital augmentation. Fate of mankind also rests in his hands, and people have asked me about if Boxer is the decoy, the war is his significance in the end, and to me his significance is that he has to die. He has to be sacrificed in order for the handshake to work, I guess, for it to like pay off. There can only be one king, he needs to kind of be sacrificed so that Ronald and Roland, it's really Roland because Ronald is just the double's name, can sort of be the the chosen one, the sort of the Neo or the, the savior. Our chance of salvation is almost ruined and lost by uh, Roland and Ronald both being shot, but they survived their wounds and then uh, their handshake will elevate the, the ice cream truck to protect it from invasion by the homeless or the U.S. ident Upus, and it will lift Martin Kefauver like an elevator up into the night to provide direct target 
to shoot the Mega Zeppelin, to destroy not only Boxer Santeros, but everyone else. And lift off. And along with the handshake finally happening is the resurrection, which hopefully people can put that together. It's theater of the absurd, and uh, but if you look at the subtext of it all, it's made with obviously a lot of care and uh, compassion. A lot of people have brought up Repo Man and the uh, floating car at the end, and honestly, that was never an issue. It's something I never even thought of until after we made the film. It's kind of like everyone thought Harvey, oh, did Harvey influence Donnie Darko, the rabbit in Donnie Darko? I was like, no, not at all. As absurd as all of this is, you think about our gas prices and you think about Iraq and you think about if Barack Obama is not elected as president, where will we be when this gets released? I don't know. And maybe it, it had to be this way. I don't know. Did it have to be this way? Could we have prevented it? Yes. Can we still prevent it? Yes. It's not easy, and it requires changing your belief system or your behavior, and, but we'll see. And Boxer realizing that maybe they'd rather dance with each other. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. And they both know that it's, it's over. Now this is obviously the id confronting itself in the form of an Iraqi war veteran who um, is tormented by having disfigured his best friend and ultimately wants to kill himself over uh, the despair he has at disfiguring his best friend and not realizing that his friend forgives him and that uh, he should forgive himself. And Obviously, the term pimps don't commit suicide really refers directly to our veterans, and um, many of whom do successfully commit suicide. And then the blood forms on the back like Christ. And it's the height of apocalyptic ridiculousness. I guess Vonnegut and some of the other writers who inspired this kind of material, you'll appreciate it for what it is, and I think if that's not your cup of tea, then then this uh, movie like this can end up just being completely um, incomprehensible to, to other people. And I regret nothing. <laughs> and despite what happens in November, there's what could have been, and there's what will be. And pimps don't commit suicide.